Good evening, y'all. Here's a tropical weather update from Carolina Weather Group. I'm meteorologist Frank Strait in Columbia, South Carolina. As you may have heard, we're going to have to be on the lookout over the next few days for a tropical depression or storm to form off the southeast coast and potentially have some impact in the Carolinas. As you can see here, the National Hurricane Center's tropical weather outlook has a code orange area off of the southeast coast and into Florida and parts of the Gulf. Uh, this is a 40% chance for development area looking at here. And uh, the concern is uh, the setup we have is uh, one that we've seen many times. We have a cold front moving into the southeast right now. And uh, we'll look at uh, weather maps from the Weather Prediction Center uh, to uh, indicate this. Uh, the weather map for uh, early uh, on your day or rather, uh, eight Thursday, and it uh, shows a front that's become scary uh, off the southeast coast, weak area of low pressure likely to develop along it over Georgia, and in this could potentially wander out uh, over the Atlantic or possibly the uh, far northeastern Gulf. If it does spend enough time over, there'll be some chance to turn into a tropical or storm. To do that, uh, the next name on for this year is Dexter. So, uh, we will be watching that. Uh, however, it looks as though uh, any storm that we see form will be a weak one. Uh, we'll take a quick look at current satellite pictures. Uh, this is a visible satellite as of a late Wednesday showing a mass of clouds over eastern North Carolina and into uh, South Carolina. The clouds become spottier. This is uh, all associated with thunderstorms along a cold front that's moving in and uh, slowing down and about to become stationary uh, off the southeast coast. Now uh, looking at our computer models, uh, we're looking to uh, the the test model here, uh, starting with the uh, Wednesday morning, so something has kind of already happened. But as we step forward in time and see uh, the modeling a lot of precipitation along and, uh, just off uh, the Carolina coast over the next few days. So we're looking at Friday morning, and they're here to Friday evening, uh, thanks to the front uh, becoming stationary over the region. And as I advance forward in time, you can see the front uh, may even treat a little bit northward over the holiday weekend. And again, we'll have to watch carefully for Lopa to be forming along it and possibly uh, turning into a depression or storm. It looks so if we're going to see any noteworthy impacts from this system become a tropical storm, uh, that would uh, be on Monday to Monday night, perhaps Tuesday, uh, more Monday South Carolina coast and uh, or Monday night into Tuesday along the North Carolina coast before this feature were to move out to sea. But again, it looks as though it's likely to remain weak. The uh, European model shows a similar idea, uh, showers and thunderstorms uh, through your Friday. This is Thursday we're looking at here, and then uh, Friday at this point uh, on the European model, and then going into the weekend, a uh, weak area of low pressure uh, forms and uh, wanders over the water. And that would be the concern if it uh, were to spend time uh, sitting getting over uh, warm waters have off the Carolina coast. Now we are, after all, into early July. Point. So uh, if we can get that storm to, to form, then obviously the concern would be uh, greater than uh, what we're looking at right now. But uh, the concern that we have right now is primarily for the potential heavy rain. Likely we will see some spotty shower storm activity each day through the weekend and into Monday into along uh, the North and South Carolina coast. But should we end up seeing a, a tropical cyclone of some sort out there, uh, that would result in a greater concern for rain and, and potential for uh, some wind, a small surge, and isolated tornado threat close to the coast. So uh, these will the th things we'll be watching. At this point, uh, again, it looks as though the system will be weak, but best to uh, stay prepared. And uh, we uh, have you both in North and South Carolina here. If you're in South Carolina, you could visit uh, hurricane.sc to see uh, the South Carolina Emergency Management Division's uh, Hurricane Guide for some assistance with uh, hurricane uh, prep. In North Carolina, you'd want to visit readync.gov and uh, browse to uh, the plan and prepare uh, tab here and down to the hurricane guide. That takes you to the page I'm on now, which gives you a link to both the English and Spanish version of North Carolina's hurricane guide in a PDF format. So that's the situation we're looking at. And again, uh, stay tuned over the holiday weekend. We'll uh, provide you with updates as uh, needed uh, here on Carolina Weather Group.